Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for August 24th, 2014, Sunday night at around 8.25 dollars in Massachusetts. Sun is down and it's nightfall and it's dark out. Crickets are chirping, chirping, chirping. And this week's weather is going to be a little bit warm up starting Monday through Wednesday. Highs in the 80s. We're going to peak out at 90 degrees on Wednesday, and then that will be the chance of thunder showers, and then back to regular weather with like what, where it should be this time of year. So one little tidbit to report: the the board of directors of Market Baskets meeting scheduled tonight for 10 p.m. has been postponed due to some shareholders still deciding the financial details of Arthur T. Demulis' deal to buy market basket but i think it's just that's just a hiccup i think they're gonna agree to get the deal done soon maybe tomorrow or tuesday but i think a deal is gonna happen the deal is gonna be finalized this week i am i'm hoping and praying i think it's it's a done deal they just going over some final details cross the i's and the cross the t's dot the i's etc etc some people on facebook are posting that they should like sh shut it down right now, but that's not a good idea if you shut the, the company down right now because of the cancer board of directors meetings. You just, you just, you know, the it's going to be very hard for like Arthur T to complete that deal. I think that's not going to happen. I don't think that the, that I don't think that's a good idea for them to consider shutting the door, doors down. If like some people are posting that on Facebook. That's not a good idea. It's just gonna get. It's just gonna make it harder for Arthur T. Demulis to complete the deal. The deal is fine. It's gonna be finalized. I I have the feeling it's going to be because we have come this far and we don't want to blow it. And that's about it on that. My third and final video blog of the night is about one of um one of the most famous football coaches and announcers of all time, John Madden. John Madden's a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame as a coach and as a broadcaster. And he he's, has like his name on football games for video games. And John Madden was born in Austin, Minnesota, but he grew up in D Daly City, Cal um, California, a suburb of San Francisco. He played both offense and defense in football in high school and college. He was actually drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the 1958 NFL Draft as the 144th pick in the 21st round. He never played in the NFL at all because he had a bad knee, but he started coaching his career in 19, 1960, and he actually worked as a head coach for a small college in 1962. In 1963, he became the linebacker's coach for the for San Diego State University. He worked, he was coached for the linebackers for four years from 1963 to 1966. And then 1967, John Madden became the linebacker's coach of the Oakland Raiders for two years. And then on in 1969, he took over as head coach of the of the Raiders and he coached the Raiders for 10 years compiling a 103 32 and 7 record during the regular season eight times he led the Raiders to the playoffs and he had a playoff record of 9 and 7 one of those and including he led them to victory at Super Bowl 11 and John Madden was like left coaching after the 1978 season he had a fear of flying and he kind of had a panic attack when he was the last time he flew flew so he took everything by either bus or train and from like after he retired in 1979 he started brought his broadcasting committee where he first called um, games for cbs sports in the 1979 in 1980 season, he worked with a various number of partners, including F Frank Lever and Dick Stockton and Tim Ryan, for the f first two years. And in 1981, he was paired with Finn Scully for a few games, and then he was paired with 
Pat Summerall for a few games, and then midway through the 1981 NFL season, CBS Sports decided to make Pat Summerall and John Madden the number one play-by announce team for NFL games, and that partnership lasted 21 years through um, CBS and Fox, and they called a lot of called 21 straight NFC championship games and and a lot of Super Bowls. And John Madden's continuing to get popular with his announcing and stuff. And in 1984, he had the first All Madden team. And the All Madden team was a tradition that lasted over 20 years. And it got real popular. He would have specials on it at the end of the football season. Sometimes it would happen at Super Bowl Sunday. Sometimes it happened at the, like the in between the Super Bowl, the week be before the Super Bowl, if like CBS or Fox didn't have the Super Bowl rights that year. Also, also another tradition that John Madden had, he had like he would award a, a turkey and a turk ducking for the Thanksgiving Day game he did on CBS and Fox for many years. That's am that's amazing. And in 1988, John Madden's f f likeness was on the first Madden football game by EA Sports. And this partnership has continued on to this day. John Madden lends his voice and likeness on these football games. And these football games are bestsellers in, in a variety of video game systems. He's made millions and millions of dollars on it. He, that's probably what he's most famous for. John Madden's career like bounced around from like CBS, sports, and from 1979 through 1993 when they lost the rights to the NFL. John Madden bolted to, for Fox. He continued to team with Pat Summerall for eight seasons on Fox. And when Pat Summerall decided to retire, John Madden bolted from Fox Sports to ABC Sports doing Monday Night Football games with Al Michaels. And he teamed with Al Michaels for about um, seven seasons, four on ABC's Monday Night Football on, and three on NBC's Sunday Night Football. And he retired after that 2000 and not, 2008 NFL football season. He went out calling Super Bowl 43. John Madden's like a is a spokesperson. He's funded a spokesperson for a variety of products like um, Ace Hardware, Renter Center, Verizon, Outback Sales, which he owns some shares in. And John Madden won the Pete Rozelle Award for Broadcasting Excellence for the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2002. And in 2006, he was inducted into Pro Football Hall of Fame as a as a head coach, John Madden's one of three personalities to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame as a player slash club coach and broadcaster. The other two are Frank Gifford and Dan Deardorff. And John Madden is still kind of in broadcasting today. Today he does pod he does podcasts for KCBS Radio out of San Francisco, and he appears daily on. Around 8 8.15 Pacific time, which is 11.15 on the East Coast. And he appears from like like ten, at least 10 minutes a day with us talking about news and sports. And he's still, he's still popular even to this day with John Madden. He's probably one of the most famous football announcers of all time. And his, his likeness, is his popularity is sky high. He's probably going to be re remembered for the video games the most but he was one good football coach and one good color man he's probably probably one of the top 10 famous pro football announcers of all time and that's about it for that subject and i hope you're getting to and like enjoy these video blogs i love doing these video blogs and they're getting to be real popular i'm almost coming on to the third month anniversary of doing this and it's been a real success on Facebook and YouTube. And I'll be continuing to do these as long as I want to. And, and tomorrow, I'm going to...
continue on my NHL series of the top 10 greatest players of all time, it would be the Washington Capitals. And I'll have two more video blogs, at least two more. Maybe I'll have a, an extra one if a major news story breaks. And then all of the all of the people I mentioned who are going to get a future video blog, they will get a future video blog. I don't know when or when, but they will. And coming soon, in four more days, in my 2004. 14 2015 NFL preview blog and then I'm going to be starting to do week by week predictions of the NFL games I'm going to tell you all the scores and stuff and October 1st is my 2014 2015 NHL preview it's going to be amazing and what else is going to be amazing I'm going to maybe do top 10 list of the of the greatest players from each NBA team NHL team I mean and NFL team and Major League Baseball team and plus in addition other top 10 lists of the greatest pro wrestling managers and then pro wrestling managers slash valets for the females and then the top 10 ladies who have the best legs in the world. We'll see. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow for another one of these video blogs and don't forget I like the feedback and if you want anything shout it out. Private message me. And it will be shouted out. Good night, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. See you tomorrow.